You know what day it is today? That's right. It's my birthday. No, <laughs> no it is my birthday. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not going out. I'm not going out to the clubs. I'm not going out to the strippers. You know, I'm not doing any cool, hardcore drugs, none of that kind of evil stuff. I'm staying inside, making YouTube videos on how to make R&B beats. Bit of a different style of video today. So I'm gonna break down a beat that I've made that's been used a lot of times. Not by popular artists, but there's been a ton of, you know, SoundCloud rappers slash R&B singers. Probably one of the most popular R&B beats I've made so far. And that's gonna be the video. I'm gonna break down how to make the perfect dark R&B beat for an artist. So let's get stuck into it. All right, first things first, general rule of thumb, every single R&B beat starts with chords. Doesn't have to be complex ones like you can see here. It's legit normal triads. Um, I don't, there's no secret source here. I just kind of laid down these chords. And here's what it sounds like. No gatekeeping here. This is the pad that I use for that sound if you really like to use it. I think I've uh, got like a shit ton of effects on it. Oh no, no. <laughs> From that point on, you guessed it, I layered the chords with the exact same chord progression. That's pretty much what I did. When it comes to like layering chords, the best way to make it sound like complex is just layering with like different pads. But the way how I do it, I layer pads with pads, I layer pads with keys, pads with bells. Do you see a pattern here? Here's what this layer sounds like. When I had those two chord progressions, I kind of already knew I'm going for like a little Nova Woods. Um, party next door, even a weekend kind of vibe, like old school weekend. So what did I do? I went straight to Splice, came all the way here, and I found this loop, this, this, um, uh, yeah, that, that one, if you, if you want to find it, if you want to really dig deep and use the exact same one that I use, probably won't do that, but here's what that sounds like. Um, yeah, I used the chorus, the June 6 chorus. You don't need to have paid like VSTs, right? You can use the standard like stock ones. Um, use this Arvox compressor. It just like it's specifically made for vocals, and I like to use it to make it stand out a little bit. And I cut off a lot of the high ends. Here's what everything sounds like together. Standard stuff. I just follow the root notes and then like cut in between the first one just to leave a bit of space, add a bit of groove. Um, you could hypothetically let your bass like stay connected like the whole way through, but when when it comes to these simple beats, I like to like make it somewhat creative, not just keep it you know boring. Make it a little bit you know unpredictable. And here's what that sounds like in unison with all the chords and the vocals. stay on the melody side of things I added two more melodies for the hook right this right here is the key in case you're uh, wanting to use it I did change around a lot of the things within analog lab so keep that in mind if you do pick it it might sound a little different but here's what it sounds with the effects that I used
Other than that was just a chorus. Another June 6. This is by far my favorite. I like to use the mode to preset and then just kind of work around that. Can't go wrong with that. Valhalla Supermassive. This is free. If you don't have this, I don't know what you're doing. Especially if you're an R&B R &B artist. Um, yeah, please get this. This is really good. Pairing is the big key. The fact that you should learn here, right? Um, so I layered that exact melody here. Same thing. This sound right here, latte. I don't know where that, where is this from? EQ cutting off all the lows, um, just to make some space for like, you know, everything else. Cause all the chords are like really low down, right? So I definitely wanted that to stick out a little bit. Free delay. Um, really heavy delay here. As you can probably tell, you can copy these settings if you want. It's pretty cool. Um, and of course, standard Valhalla Supermassive. This is, uh, this is just a default preset. Um, I just turned around with the mix knob here and then just played with the delay. And then there you go, you got yourself a nice little uh, melody. Um, but here's what the hook sounds with all the melody tracks played together. to the drums then the hi-hats come in last but not least the bread the butter the main course of the whole beat a kick That's pretty much, that's pretty much everything, bro. It looks complicated from when you're just looking at it, right? But breaking it down, you realize it's really not that bad, like to make an easy beat. Artists are very, <laughs> like look, I'm talking to my producers right now, yeah? Artists are very easily impressed by the shit that you do. And I'm being so serious. Like you could reverse something or just add 808s to a beat. And next thing you know, the artist is doing the fucking they're doing a whole YouTube reaction kind of thing. You know what I mean? You don't need to go too crazy. You just need to put up, you know, choose the right sounds, make sure the drums are hitting. Yeah, a lot of the good sounding beats are, you know, there's nothing crazy to it. Um, if you do enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna play out the final beat and uh, peace out.